Welcome to more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door everyone saw last time. We basically made it to the very bottom of the tree and look at this, it is freaking Lord Crump being sneaky and be like, hmm, the freaking crystal star must be around here, you know? But then they heard a sound. And then, well yeah, you know, it's me of course with my freaking hundred army, god damn it, get over here. With my hundred army punies I was saying. Okay, get over here. All right, awesome. And doing this will actually make something rather interesting trigger. Look at that. It is the beautiful crystal star. I believe it's actually the emerald star. Like, the one in chapter one was a diamond star and this one is the emerald star. Grab it, Mario, or you can just stand there and see it. Like any typical video game or movie or TV show, you know? Where you just see it, like the freaking protagonist just stays there and sees it. The villain snags something, and then you're like, hmm, well, they only did that because they wanted the plot of the freaking villain stealing it, but in real life, the protagonist would have already obtained the star before the antagonist, you know? So, yeah, you know? But that only happens just to make it more interesting. Oh, shoot. Okay, so yeah, you have 300 seconds. 300 seconds, which is about, like, what, less than, what, what, about 5 minutes or something? God, don't miss. Yeah, it's like 60, 60, 60, then 240, 300, uh, 5 minutes actually, exactly, exactly 5 minutes. Okay, so there's actually a freaking, yeah, this is the only encounter you'll have, don't worry. Assuming you fought the other ones already, because if not, then the enemies are going to be staying in the places where they were, so they can actually kind of block you. So because I killed pretty much every enemy here in the tree, this will be the only encounter. Okay, awesome. So let's see, there's a star piece right here, make sure to grab it. Now if you hit this, if you hit it, and you go through, it then takes it to a nice little nifty shortcut to the other side. A door that was previously locked like the whole freaking time. So look at that, look at that, see? You know where I am. You know where I'm at now. I mean, it's actually extremely easy to get back there. Really, the only hard room, you know, to get all the way back would be the uh, the one with where you need Flurry. Let me go ahead and switch to Flurry now, because I'm going to need her. But I mean, honestly, I don't know if you actually have to bring all 101 punies back, because your goal is to make it back to the very beginning of the tree. But I don't know if, like, if you don't bring all 101 punies, like, do you not trigger the scene where Lord Trump is there? You should be able to. Like, it wouldn't make sense why you wouldn't be able to, but just in case, I'm doing it, you know? I'm gonna do this and blow them all in there, and then come over here. Oh shoot, I'm a little bit too- oh god, no. Yep, I knew it. I was a little bit too ahead. Actually, I blew most of them. Just like, what, three? Really? Only three. Hmm. Well, okay. Come on, get up here. Get up here, damn it. One, two, three, all blown. Okay, cool. Come over here. Spinny orb, come this way, switch back to Goombella, before I go through, go through this door, hit save in this block, and you know what's funny, what happens if you hit a save when you're like at one second? Does your file get stuck, and you have to start the entire game over again? Because you can actually save, like, you know how, like in those video games, they don't let you save in time limits, on purpose, so that you don't get the file stuck. Because what happens if you, like, hypothetically save one when there's one second left, you know? But, in this game it lets you, so what if you save when there's only one second? It seems that your file would get stuck, that you can't do anything, so you would have to just start the entire game over again, right? I think. Okay, so we made it to Crump here. He then turns it off. Okay, whatever. But now he's gonna make some orb appear out of nowhere, okay? I mean, that's a nice ability you have there, making orbs appear out of nowhere. And this is actually the boss battle, people. The boss battle of chapter two. Oh boy. Okay. So this boss is actually ridiculously easy. Oh my god, man. I mean, I mean in a way, you could say that this guy... Well, actually, not everyone, because he has a defense. Because Hugtail, you can actually get rid of his uh, defense by using the Cricket Badge. I was about to say, this guy could actually be considered easier 
than Hooktail. But actually, no, because you can't do anything to get rid of his defense, so, man, I guess it's a tiny bit harder than Hooktail, if anything. HP is 30, attack is 2, defense is 1. So yeah, only 30 HP, people. Once you knock that HP down, you win. That easy. Okay, let's use a power smash. Alrighty, that'll be 3 damage. Yep. Here it comes, suckers. Okay. Let's see. Ah, defended. That's actually an easy. Basically, like, the first person he targets with the foot will be the target, because they'll, like, target Mario, Goombella, Mario, attack. So if he begins to Goombella, Goombella, Mario, Goombella, attack. That's pretty much the strategy and that, that he does. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and use a, um... I guess I'll keep that for a bit. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and head bump. Let's do 1-1. One, one. That's 2 damage there, okay. Now with you, I guess for now, I'm just going to keep using Power Smash. Okay, another three damage. That's five damage per turn. Oh damn it, he has a defense. Okay, so one, two, three, four. See? That easy. Okay, Kubella again. I'm gonna do another really easy, you know, really simple five damage per turn. There we go. Nice. Wait a minute, why not power jumping? I'm stupid. Well, no, I mean, it doesn't really matter because. If, like, if he got his HP down a little bit more, he would have done this move sooner anyway. I'm gonna use the fire flow. The thing is, I don't know if those guys are affected by fire. Those little arms, let's see. If they're not, then oh well. Oh, they are, okay, cool. But yeah, no, uh, Power Jump should be doing, uh, what, 5 damage. Also, this move we get when you get the Spin Jump, or the Spin Boots. Spin Boots. Let's see, 5 damage. It's not that it really matters, so whatever. Okay, this move is hard to guard. It's hard to time it. Okay, so you're just gonna go ahead and use a uh, HP drain, sure. That'll do five easy damage. And then, power jump. And you're dead. Here we go. That's the battle, people. That is literally the battle. Extremely easy. And that's with me being stupid and using power smash in the beginning, the first like two or three turns. Thus losing out on 2 potential damage per turn, for a total of 60 damage. Alrighty, take off Crump, and with that, he loses, and all the x naughts retreat. Oh my god, do I need to say anything about that? Give me the freaking star, the emerald star. Oh yeah! I learned Clock out a move that I pretty much never used in this game, yes! But I mean, I guess the good thing about this is that you get an additional star power. So now we have three! And the top there! Awesome! Okay, so yeah, you know, narration. Narration on the finest. Um, no, not yet. I don't want to say it yet. So now it's time for the freaking Peach segment. And the Bowser segment. Which... I mean, generally I'm not a fan of these things because, like, when I play this game... Like, I always just want to play as Mario and, like, develop myself, you know? Like, level up and get stronger, and then these things I'm like, oh, they just get in the way, you know? Just wasting time. But, I mean, it is story-driven, it is plot-based, so that's why, you know? You know, it's funny how that guy says, Sir Gordis, please allow me to enter, but he has already entered the room. <laughs> like... What the heck? Doesn't make much sense, but okay. Alright, so he basically reports the information. And then Gordon is like, hmm, this guy, he's becoming rather intimidating. I must do something about you. And then he says, I loathe you. One of the strangest things ever. Like, out of all the video games that would use the word loathe, it had to be Paper Mario. Like, it's, it's rated E for everyone. Generally, younger people are playing it. They don't know what loath means. Just say hate. Okay, so the door opens. All you gotta do is walk around until the door opens. And then it's basically text, invitation to sex. I mean, to talking. Shit. That freaking slip of the tongue. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, by the way, this doesn't work. Just saying. Just saying. Open this freaking door. Go in there, Peach. Hurry up. 
I'm glad you came. Oh god. Do I need to say more about what that could mean? Especially after I said invitation to sex. I'm glad you came. Oh my god. Well, I will say, I love the song Glad You Came. I really do. You know. The sun goes down. The stars come out. You know that song, right? I'm sure you do. It's, it's, uh, the sun goes down. Wait, the sun, shoot, no. The sun go, wait, what? The sun goes down. This, yeah, the stars come out. Yeah. And then, dude, I'm forgetting. I'm freaking brain farted. God damn it. The sun goes down, the stars come out, and all that... Wait, all that counts? And all that counts... Yeah. It's here and now. The universe will never be the same. I'm glad you came. I'm glad you came. That would be hilarious if I get a content ID match for doing that. But I mean, okay, if I get a content ID match, I, sh I should be impressed. That I actually, you know, did it right. Like, that I sung with the right... Whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Anyway, this thing is weird. All you want to do is press the button that shows up. With X and with B, Peach will actually flip around. With A, she'll stay like that. So many sexual innuendos that I'm saying. You know, Peach will flip around for attack and flip over. Oh my god. B. And A. And B. And X. This is so boring. Okay, all done. Alright, so there we go. The dancing is done. Just a moment. What? Fun? He's like, hmm. What does fun mean? You know, Chek just used fun. But he, himself, doesn't even know what a word means that he just said. It's like with me, like, years ago when I was in high school. Sometimes I would use the word exquisite. Just because it sounded so cool, you know? Saying that something is exquisite. And I didn't know what it meant for a while. I was like, hmm, it just sounds cool, you know, saying, oh, that's exquisite. You know, like, does that mean that's cool? Or that's unique? Or that's awesome? Like, no. But eventually I did find out. But the point is that I just didn't know what the hell it meant. But I still used it. So Tag just used fun. But he didn't really know. And I mean, it's worse for him because he's, he's like, he's a machine. So he didn't actually know, like, how it feels, but apparently he now did or something. Anyway, next up is going to be something so fun. We're actually going to be playing Super Mario Brothers, but with Bowser. I kid you not. Look at this. World 1-1. Oh, man. Yep. It is old Mario, people. Like, old Mario style. Also, the music. Okay, I'm big. I'm big and you're awesome. Okay, so basically, with Bowser, you can, you know, stomp on stuff. Oh yeah, look at that. I can just run on through. And you get, a, like, so many meats in a row, you can just simply... Can you actually die there? I don't know. Just run. Just run, damn it. And you are so busy to destroy the freaking thing. There we go. 1-1. Has been cleared. I mean, it's kind of cool that they made that twist. I mean, it's also because they didn't want you to like train with Bowser, you know, and like fight monsters and stuff. Oh damn! They saw it's Bowser. Like, oh man, we gotta run. Okay, look at these idiots, by the way. They see Peach. And he's like, man, that was easy. Wow. How could you not tell that that's a fake? Like, you can't even see her legs. It's obviously a freaking poster. And then this guy, this freaking Koopa, is so weird. With his damn life's treasure or something. I don't know what the hell's up with this guy, but okay. Okay. Okay, this time I'll save now that I did all the segments, you know? Alrighty. So with that, we are done here, you know? In Boggly Woods. No problem. 
No problem, punies. Okay. Awesome, we can leave now. Now, before you actually leave, there is one more thing you want to do here in Boggly Woods, and that is actually go back to Flurry's house. So I'm going to go ahead and do a cut and meet you there in just a bit. Okay, so I actually got a message with freaking Peach. And... Okay, whatever. That's cool. So what you'll be seeing is that, you know, as more and more time passes, basically you get more information from Peach about what the hell's going on. Okay, here we go. So if you simply go on through, there's going to be a panel, and it's actually kind of a glitch panel, people say, because look at this. Do you see how the bottom is actually not black? You can kind of see? What the heck? There we go. Yeah, it's kind of a glitch panel. It's very strange, but okay. So there's a star piece, and there's also this, a badge, which is a super appeal partner badge. So we're all done. I'm going to meet all of you back in the beginning of Boggly Woods. All the way back there. Quite a journey. Alright, back in the beginning. Let's go. So I believe we have obtained every single star piece in Boggly Woods. Now we also got the, you know, the star panel things. Now, here in Roadport, though, there's going to be quite a lot to do. A lot. First of all, there's a panel right here, actually. This one. Which contains another star piece. There we go. Star piece. And then, let's see, because there's going to be so many freaking star pieces, like, pretty much everywhere. I mean, it's ridiculous. Over there at the top, but first I'm going to go ahead and switch to Flurry, of course. And blow this thing away. Because there's a nice little secret here. Look at that. Happy Heart Partner Badge. Nice, another nice badge there. I mean, I'm not really going to be using it, but hey, you know. It's money, basically, because you can sell it for some nice cash later. Look at that. Stoppies. Great star piece there. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take this panel. And let's go. So in this room, there is actually a, um... A star piece, but actually, I'm going to go here first because I missed this last time. And then I go here. Go ahead and take this thing. That little plane thing. And this will actually take us to the left side. Towards the biggest side quest in the game. It's actually the, uh, Pit of Wonder Trials. Of course, I'm going to come over here. Go ahead and grab that shine sprite. So yeah, this little room here, it leads to the pit of 100 trials. Well, this one here. Look at that. Pit of 100 trials. Also, first attack and bump attack do not work. And also, this place shows you how many star pieces you found. 31 out of 100. Cool. And also, your power bounce record. It's also a star piece there, by the way. Just saying. Okay. So there's a star piece over here somewhere. Don't exactly know where it is, but we'll find it soon. There we go. Here it is. Star piece. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to, uh, Umbella. Let's stand here and let's see what happens now. Here we go. Yep, here we go. There we go, nice. I didn't talk through that entire thing because I wanted you guys to all experience the awesomeness. Actually, I don't know. No, I mean, it's because I was actually like busy looking at the computer and I was actually talking gently, but I'm probably just going to cut the uh, commentary portion there for like those 15, 20 seconds. Okay, so back to Frankly once again. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. So now I'm just going to tell us like what the hell, you know, we got to do next. That's not... what? Okay. I don't know. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, well... Again, story-driven stuff. We go into the Crystal Stars, you know, like what happens, the legend and all that, but yeah, the next place is Glitzville. 
So to get to Glitzville, you're gonna be needing the blimp, yes. And there's a certain person that can actually give you... Wait, what? Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's that's where the peonces are. Hmm. Oh, man. A syndicate boss, I see. Okay. So, there are a couple things I can do now. I mean, first of all, I'm going to come over here. And, actually, should I do this now? I mean, there's quite a number of things I can do at the moment, but... Eh, because I mean, I'm already kind of up there in time. I guess I'll go ahead and do this one first. Yes, Garth's Trouble, sure. So Garth is actually this guy. He's like, I need a key, please help me. Okay, cool. I already know where that is. So as far as panels go, there's one right here somewhere. There it is. Okay. There we go, it's Darby's. Um, and then let's see, there's also another one. I'm trying to remember here. Where the hell? Yeah, there's one down here, obviously. This place. There we go, nice Darby's. Now to the left there's... Oh shoot, there's pretty much nothing over there either. What the heck? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go back there in just a bit then. If I have to. I might actually not have to though. Now as far as upgrading members, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and not upgrade this time. I want to save my shine sprites first. Hey look, it's Luigi again, which I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna talk to you, hell. Actually, I mean... Ah, uh, sure. But what I'm gonna do is mash it. The only reason I'm doing this is because uh, he, he's basically gonna be selling us, like, Super Luigi books. I kid you not. So I think in order to unlock those, you have to read his stories. You have to. Now, it's very possible that I'm wrong in that. What I just said. But I'm just taking the gander, you know. Okay. Star piece, nice. I'm gonna come over here to you now. Let's buy some stuff. Earthquake boost sheet. Okay, attack FX, sure. Alrighty, there we go. Shoot, no, don't darn it. And then, okay. Yeah, I don't have enough for that. I can buy the Bushi though. Now the Bushi is superior to the Rebel, to the Repel Cape, not Rebel. Repel Cape. Earthquake is also a pretty nice item. I don't have enough coins at the moment though. So I'm gonna come over here then. And just sell a bunch of badges that I don't need pretty much. So let's do it. Okay. Ooh, look at this. We got Sleepy yeah, sleep, uh, sleepy Stomp. I was about to say Sleep Stomp, but it's Sleepy Stomp. Let's see, Happy Heart. Let's sell that. We're also going to be selling Double Pain for sure, because this badge is garbage. You gotta be kidding me, man. Why would that badge even exist? Like... Unless you want to do a self-imposed hard mode challenge or something, maybe? I don't know. P down, D up? Um... Yeah, we don't need that. And then we can also sell... Hammerman? We don't need that. Jumpman is much better. FP Plaza, whatever. Charge? I can sell Charge. For sure. Super Appeal? I don't need that. I guess attack FX. Not a fan of the attack FX badges, you know. Shrink Stomp, sure. And I guess Happy Heart Partner as well. Pretty much all of these. Okay. And I believe we are pretty much. Oh, it's Soft Stomp, that's right. Soft Stomp. I'm gonna keep the HP Plus and the FP Plus badges for now. Because there might be some use to them, you never know. Uh, let's go ahead and put uh, others. What you got? Anything useful? Hmm, not really. I mean, yeah, piercing blood. That thing looks pretty uh, useful, but I'm gonna skip it for now. Anyway, the key's over here for the trouble. And I'm gonna come over here now. And there should be another panel somewhere over here. Right? Yeah, this one. There we go. Star piece. Okay, and then, let's see, I already got the one in uh, East Rogueport, I got the one in Central, I got the one... What the hell are you doing out here? Oh, yeah, by the way, is the Super Luigi book here? No, 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 not yet. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, whatever. Alright. 
Uh, sure. Wario Emblem. Let's buy it. It's freaking expensive, I know, but I'm buying all badges in the game, you know? I'm gonna collect them all. And by, by collecting, I mean just having them and then selling them. Because I've obviously been selling them, but this thing records every badge you've gotten. Even if you sell it, it's still here. So yeah, you know, just letting you know. And then Tatalog is here. Crystal Stars are here. And Map is here. And yeah, you know. Uh, I'm gonna come down here now, because I need to end this freaking video very soon, actually. So I'm just gonna come here and finish up by one final... Ground pound here somewhere. What the heck? Wait, wait, wait. I thought it was over here. Not over here? Really? Huh. I thought it was. Maybe it's over here then. Wait, where the hell's the panel? Dude, there's a panel here somewhere. I know for a fact there's a panel here. Wait, is there not? Really? I could have sworn there was a panel in this place. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna come over here now towards the west. Because, well, you know... Oh, that, that'll wait for next time, though. So, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.